so today I'm actually reviewing a number of uh, cameras, video cameras. So um, I'm going to be comparing the quality of the Sony Handycam uh, HDR XR150 um, video camera. I'm also going to be comparing the Samsung Galaxy S7, the non-edge version, the selfie camera and the external camera. I'm also going to be comparing uh, the Microsoft Life Cam. I'm using the uh, FZ300 Panasonic Lumix camera to shoot this. I actually, because I'm shooting with it, I can't show you it. So that's what it looks like. I actually just bought it. So yep, it's the Lumix. Um, so this is the quality that I'm currently shooting with. It does 4K, but because there's not much point using 4K for uh, YouTube because, yeah, it's not going to really, at this stage of our development with YouTube, 1080p is the best quality most people are going to be able to see. So, yeah, so I've got it as 1080p at the moment. Um, as you can see, the quality is damn good. Uh, I think with this um, video camera, the thing that I find a bit upsetting was I wanted to be able to live record. So in other words, I wanted to be able to see on my computer screen what I'm recording at the same time as recording. So I believe the Canon cameras do that. That's what one of the camera shops just told me because I rang up before. Um, however, and even actually my Sony Handycam which I'm going to review later in this video, you can actually put a HDMI uh, cable into it and the other end into your uh, computer and you will actually be able to record at the same time as seeing what you're recording on your computer screen. So yeah, this is the downside of this video camera or this camera. So um, yeah, you, you can't really do anything about that because you can put a HDMI out, however, the moment you click record, you will stop seeing your image on the computer screen. So yeah, you can see your image on the computer screen using this Lumix, but like I said, the moment you press record, the screen will go black on your computer screen and it will say something like video recording in progress or something like that. So I guess it can show you where you're positioned, but then when you press record, that's it. Um, yeah, so... Uh, the, the way I've compared these cameras is that I use a scientific method, I guess, because I come from a science background. I've used them all around the same time of the day in almost the same position. I've tried to put the tripod the sort of very close position to the webcam that's on my computer so that they're all getting about the same amount of lighting because you can't compare two cameras or two video cameras or whatnot when they're, they've been treated differently. So you need to have the same amount of light during around the same time of day. They need to be treated exactly the same. The only variable is that they're a different quality camera, I guess you could say, if we were to simplify things. So, yes, I hope you enjoy my review. Okay, let's so go, get going. this is selfie mode of the um, Samsung Galaxy S7. It's not the Edge, by the way. Um, as you can see, uh, the quality is okay um, for, I mean, for a selfie mode of the camera. This is not the outward facing camera, it's the inward facing camera. So it's okay compared to like older models where the selfie camera was absolutely hopeless. It's not perfect, you can't take a beautiful image with this obviously, but beggars can't be choosers, right? So now I'm going to flip it to the proper uh, camera. Okie dokie, so now we're on to the proper outward facing camera of the Samsung Galaxy S7. Um, as you can see, it's pretty good quality for a uh, camera, um, video camera, <laughs> phone video camera I should say. Feeling a bit ditzy today, I didn't sleep very well last night so don't pick on me. Okay, anyway, so yeah, it's pretty good quality as you can see. The thing I also like about the, cap the actual still images that you can take with this video camera is that the quality of those photos are 
amazing. I went to America and took some photos there and they just turned out immaculate. I didn't need a professional camera to capture all my images. So this is really, really good for taking still images. Um, and yeah, the video camera is pretty good as you can see. So yeah, so that's the demo of the Sony Galaxy S7 camera. Okay, so now we're looking at the quality of the Sony Handycam XR, sorry, HDR XR150. Um, so I bought this actually a number of years ago, I don't know, seven, eight, nine years ago. I paid about a thousand dollars for this camera actually, so it was a pretty good camera at the time. Um, but this is, so it's a full HD and it can do 1080p, which is good for the high quality videos for YouTube. However, um, ultimately this type of camera has been replaced by uh, later technology and later models like mirrorless cameras and things like that. Um, now the still pictures for this camera is, um, it's like 3.1 megapixels and they're um, some might say grainy. They're okay quality, they're not great. Um, so if you want something to take really immaculate photos as well as videography, uh, probably not this camera. Um, so the good thing about this video camera is you can actually put in a um, HDMI, sorry, HDMI cable, HDMI out, uh, into the uh, monitor and you'll be able to record yourself at the same time as seeing what is being recorded so you kind of live record so uh, that's great because you don't want to end up recording something for YouTube and then playing it back and going oh half of me was out of focus or I couldn't see you know I, I could see half my head or something like that so the benefit with this again um, is also it's flip screen so you can maneuver the screen and so you can see yourself on the little screen if you want um, while you're recording so that's what I really like about this camera now um, I originally bought this camera before I started YouTube so I bought it to record myself dancing in a dance studio or something like that you can't the the zoom out as far as you can is still not enough for you to stand uh, relatively close I guess you could say to the camera to capture your whole body for a dance for example that's for my purpose so if you want to capture your whole body uh, and stand relatively close to the camera even zooming way out it's not gonna cut it so with this one I used to have to stand a few meters back uh, from memory to shoot my dance videos also the sound quality of this is not so great as you can see um, it's average so moving on Hi guys so here is the demo of the Microsoft live cam um, I'm using the software that comes with it at the moment while I'm recording this video uh, basically the things you can do with it but it's a bit faulty I don't know it's not working for me it used to uh, basically you could put like a pink wig on little bunny ears things like that um, so and you could change the quality right now it's on its maximum quality which is HD ready which is 720p so it does not do 1080p so yet so the quality is not that great for YouTube videos it's good for like if you just want to talk to your friend on Skype or you know something like that so yeah so this is the uh, HD Microsoft live cam quality